Okay, we have the Monoprice Voxel 3D printer fully enclosed. We do a quick review and I point out a few things I noticed after I have this thing for a few hours. Um, interesting is on the user manual it says um, Monoprice Vector 3D printer. What is odd, that's different from when they sell it, they call it Voxel. Um, I'm showing like some prints. It has a heated bed with removable bed surface. And this is like a fast forward here, an eight times speed up video, how it moves fast, right? Um, it has two LEDs in the print head. You can turn them on and off. The odd part is that they are not bright enough for the internal camera where you can watch your your print. It has a, b a bunch of plugs you can plug in different countries. Turn it on. Let's see the boot sequence in real time. So when it's almost ready, it makes a beeping noise, like a, like a video game, an old video game. Uh, did you hear that? And uh, the pixels here in this animation are weird. Odd. I don't know what it is loading though. I'm going to go to the tool section and see if there is an update available in settings. Update. You can see there in the check in for versions. The first time I got it, it worked and it updated this thing. Now it says poor network. But it's not really true. You can load this thing through USB. You can load it through Ethernet or through a wireless network. Where wireless I didn't use yet. And let's see here a few menus in this user interface here. Um, we have an internal memory where we can access, I, I think I read 8 gigabytes, the manual says 4, I think it has 8, not sure, it shows 6.6 .6 available so it must have 8. What else do we have? About, right, so it shows the serial number of this thing, so there it calls it Voxel, right, build volume is 150 cubic millimeters. What else do we have? Status? Or languages? German, French, Spanish, English? So what do we have? We can move the head around here, or the bed. This is head up, down, left, right, and the bed forward and backwards. Print pad, right? We have a filament check function. There is a sensor in there by the spool to see if there is filament in there or not. Probably you can turn that on. I made a video about how to access this camera because there is nothing about this in the manual. We have an LED to turn on and off. Talked about this before. A buzzer. On off. Update probably still doesn't work. Poor network, I don't get it. Uh, I was able to send data to it. I don't know, maybe my uh, internet provider is maybe killing there some data transfer from this thing, who knows. The potential about uh, is there to like it has a little computer in it, right? So it could spy around in your network and send it elsewhere. So very much possible. You can print through a cloud where I didn't use that yet. You need an account and uh, a password, flash account. I haven't used that yet. So if you print through cloud, you can see and monitor the progress. Flashforge Adventure 3. So Adventure 3, this is the SSID. So is that what it is? The Flashboard Adventure 3, 3 is a printer that looks exactly the same, just different color.
By the way, I got mine in white and I ordered it in black. So I'm not sure what that is about. Well, I don't care what color it has, but it's odd that there was only black available and then I got a white one. The filament is automatically sucked in and spit out again if you want to replace or change your filament. Let's try and print something. So in the internal memory, there is stuff in there. Whatever you send to it from your computer is in here. I'm not sure how to delete it, if you have to go in here manually to delete it, or if you can do this from your computer. I'm not sure about that. I guess I will find this out later. The print pad needs a minute to heat up. And it takes about two minutes, in my case here, to heat it up so that it's ready to print. And that depends on the situation, I guess. So if you live in a hot area, and it's hot where you print, then it's faster. And if it's cold, like in my case, then it takes a little longer. And keep in mind, this is four times the speed it really takes here in the print for this video, because I didn't want to sit here for like a long time. There it goes. Let me focus a little bit on the tip here. That's how that looks like when it starts printing a small piece. The print pad is very sticky. And I used a spatula to get the part off that's difficult, not recommended. Then I used a razor blade at the end that scratches the the surface a little bit. Parts are not available yet. So I have to be a little careful there. You can see I turn the light on and off on the print head. Just to see if that is good for this video here, but um, it's not good. The uh, print bed surface is easily to remove. This is a little tray you can pull out and bend that thing a little so that it pops off your model you have on there. That's very helpful. I want to try this with a glass plate, just not sure how to get that on there. Yeah, this is real time again here. All this prints. Uh, in this case, this model was like checking uh, if there's any stringing or anything, and it's not, so it's printing pretty good, I have to say. I have a separate video soon where I show how to auto level the bed, how that works when they talk about auto leveling the, the print bed. This will be in a different video, but it's an auto leveling bed. It's not too difficult, it's fast though. So. Very convenient, I have to say. Now, one thing about the filament. This is how this looks like in this bay. Here is it sucking in the filament into the machine. Here is the roll. Let me turn the camera down a little bit. The problem with the spool here is it's proprietary half kilo spool. That's not a standard one. And uh, yeah, that's a pain in the butt. You know, if you have filament a lot, then you have to either get a spool like this. There is a sensor in the back, what senses if there is filament in there or not. And uh, that's it so far for this review, that was 10 minutes. And um, just subscribe and come back later to see if I do more videos with this thing. I hope I can.